How's it going, everyone? My name is McBob's Joseph. And welcome back to Franchise Mode Giveaway Dell Stars Edition. So, last time I gave you guys your updates and I made a big trade. And I also made up the team for the year. Oh, we are Stanley Cup winning team. So, on the first line, we had Defazio, Sagan, and Bois. On the second line, we got Poppy Gip, Persaul. Thomas. On the third, we got Howe, Backlund, and Sprong. On the fourth, we got Ryan, Hintz, and Stepniak. On the defense, we have Maloj, Bonnevev, D'Angelo, Jones, Olsen, and Emmerich. Oh, sorry. Emmerich, as I was simulating into the season, uh, I was offered a second and a third for this guy, so I took him. Because, you know, it seemed like a pretty good, pretty good deal to me. I don't need my picks anymore. And then on the goalie, we have Corpusalo and Drury. So, let's get simming then. <clears throat> Holy God, I'm tired. So, as you all know, last week was the All-Star Game. Or last weekend, I should say. For me, um... Don't need picks. Uh, what do you guys think of it? Um... I thought it was boring, to say the least. You know? Um... The fact that they took out the shootout competition kind of bummed me out because I was really looking forward to seeing what they'd do this year, and it was all kind of just meh. Snoop Dogg was pretty entertaining. I, I loved that he uh, slipped up and said it. Uh, he had his uncensored song play at the beginning, so you just hear big motherfucker at the beginning. Uh, I bet you the uh, TV officials or whatever, the SDC. No, <laughs> not the SDC. Um, what are the, what's that called? I, I can't think of it right now. It's on the tip of my tongue. Fuck, I can't remember. Whatever. Um, yeah, I bet you they were pretty happy with them, seeing as that was on live TV. The game overall, the games overall were pretty boring. There's like no competition ever. Uh, in the end, I'm pretty happy that the Metropolitan won it, though. I mean, not a big surprise, seeing as uh, they've been the most dominant. Uh, division all year long. <clears throat> yeah. But yeah, pretty boring overall All-Star game. I don't think anything will top last year's. So, what, uh, let's talk about Marshan for a second. Now, obviously Boston fans love him, but I'd say for the majority of the fans that actually have to face him, they're not a big fan of him. So, he needs to chill on these fucking slew foots or whatever you call them here. Because they're pretty awful. I mean, he got away, he's gotten away with two of them this year so far. Um, the last one wasn't as bad. But it still is bad. He's making pretty dangerous plays, and there's like just no room for that in hockey because he could end someone's career by doing that. I mean, you gotta you you love him, you hate him. I hear he is a nice guy off the ice, but being a nice guy off the ice doesn't mean shit if you're putting people's careers in danger. Like he hasn't really done anything to the Penguins, and you know I'm pretty happy about that. But if he fucking injured Crosby, I'd probably lose my goddamn mind. I mean, really. <clears throat> so yeah, please, Brad Martian, for the sake of everyone, fucking chill. What else we got going on here? Oh my god, why am I yawning so much? Sagan is back. We can re scratch Adrian and throw Stepniak in there. Let's 
see, what else do we have in the news that was somewhat entertaining this week? Uh, we got Ribeiro being sent back down to the miners. That, uh, I didn't see that coming. I heard that he's kind of slipping off and, you know, people aren't a really big fan of him. I, I didn't, I haven't heard much about his past, but I may have to look into it because people say he's a really shitty person. I know he has some, I think it was it, what, it, what was it, alcohol problems in the past? Other than that, I've also heard he's a pretty shitty person in general. I mean... Oh yeah, there's also this. There's the uh, Islanders. They might go to Hartford. That'd be interesting to see again. Um, you know, it's not like it's going to be the, whaler, the Whalers or whatever. It's still going to be the Islanders. But uh, uh, just seeing the direction that the Islanders franchise go at this point, it's kind of sad because Jonathan Tavares is pretty much the only thing holding up that franchise. If he wasn't there, that they'd, be, they'd do off all the time. Yet Halak who was their star goalie for years, and now he's getting sent down to the HL this year, and the team's just not doing good at all. Like, they had to fire their coach of a couple of years. And yeah, it's just uh, not looking too good for them at the moment. I mean, they're doing a little better now without the new coach, so I guess, you know, it might have been a coach problem. It could have been like the Johnston problem last year with the Penguins. Where they fired Johnson and after that the team became amazing, you know? I need to find some like transition that I do when I'm talking about these because I just abruptly stop talking about them because I really don't have much to say about them at the moment. But uh, yeah. Do all these stupid ass repairs. your info. Fuck no. <laughs> uh, I mean, the only other things that have really happened this week are Marshenko got put on waivers and Toronto picked him up, so uh, rest in peace that. I really kind of wanted the Penguins to pick him up because I know he isn't amazing, but, you know, we need something new on our uh, decor because he ain't got anything at the moment. That's what the that's what that's what I'm hoping the penguins will go for in the trades. Um, I've heard rumors about Landeskog. Uh, I don't know about that. I guess you know it's kind of like a we'll see type of thing. Maybe it'll be like one of those things where Landeskog gets traded to a team and he'll do a lot better. Like Schultz, Schultz is like doing amazing. He was so shaky at first, but now he's becoming such a big, crucial part of this team. I'm just falling in love with that motherfucker. I mean, he's so good on the ice lately. He's just been moving all over the place. He gets to where he needs to be. I wish he was like this during the Stanley Cup Finals. I could have breathed, you know, I could have like been a little more relaxed during it then. So let's see how people are doing right now. Eh, they're doing alright, you know. I think we're gonna break up the uh, fourth and third lines, and we're gonna move some more, some people around a little. So I wonder where Jerome Eginla is going to go. I, I, I know he's wanted to be traded. I don't know if he'll go to the Penguins because I know it didn't work and I doubt we have the cap for that if we want to get a defenseman. Leave me alone, Senators. Yeah, I don't think he could go there. I've heard stuff about him going to Chicago. Um, I don't foresee Chicago making it too far again in the playoffs this year. 
while they're doing like amazing right now. This is just how they do during the normal season. Um, I'm, I may, maybe they get paired up with a weaker division uh, person to face. But if, I think if they get a stronger um, central division opponent, say the Wild, I think they're done for in the playoffs right away. So I don't know if Jerome and Ginwell would want to go there. I mean, it's kind of like a we'll see. I know that when, I, when he was on the Penguins for that short time, uh, he was under Bilesma, and I guess Bilesma didn't really treat him too well. That's why it didn't work. But we've traded, I mean, we've gone through two, like, we've gone through two coaching changes since then, and the team's a lot better, so it's kind of like a we'll see thing. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, how could I forget about that? The Blues fired Ken Hitchcock. Like, what the fuck was that? I know they weren't doing, like, amazing. I just, like, you know, they, I feel like that's kind of like a behind-the-scenes type of thing. I had heard that the GM and Hitchcock were really good friends, and he was really sad to see him go. This is like his last year coaching too, or, you know, as, that's what he said, people are seeing it's probably not his last year coaching. If he gets back into it, then it's probably not, but, uh, yeah, it's pretty sad. Maybe you'll see him, uh, coaching Vegas, you know, maybe he'll change his mind about it being in the last year and he'll be like, hey, Vegas or whatever. But then you also got the Panthers former coach who could be the head coach of Vegas too, you know, or I'm sure after this year. Some teams are going to be firing their coaches, aside from the Islanders and the Blues. So we are almost at the trade deadline, and we're going to skip over to see if any of you guys were traded, and then we are going to end the episode. Ugh. Injured ribs. Leave me alone, Philadelphia. I don't want your fucking picks. I have no desire. I'm probably just gonna sim over the draft, to be honest. I honestly have no desire for the draft at this point. It's just because this team is in such a hole up right now, like that I just kind of don't care. We had our chance. We had our prime team to win the Stanley Cup and we just didn't do it. Uh, what was it? The furthest we made it to like was the third round. Wow, our defense is being very mediocre this year. So as we hit the trade deadline, the team is doing pretty good at the moment actually, you know? We're, we're gonna be... Oh, come on. 36, 22, and 6. Let's see how all the players are doing. And then we will end the episode. You know what? That's not good. That's really bad, actually. I'm gonna have to change some lines around or something. 40 points, that's it. Holy shit, that's terrible. Yeah, that's really not good. Is it? I think it's like the goalies that are keeping us in this year. Yeah, kind of. Drury's doing pretty good. Corpusello's doing eh. How about our rookies here? Okay, so I think we're gonna have to move up Krestovich. Croissant! It's better just call him Croissant. Up the line. We're gonna move up to. So let's do some quick line changes. So 
We're gonna move Poppy Gev down to the third line. Um, Sprong up to the first line since he's doing pretty good right now. I feel like we need to mix up these two lines again. We're gonna put Backlund on the fourth, Ince on the third. All right, well, hopefully those changes will help us. All right, guys, well, this is where I'm gonna end the episode, so thanks for watching. Come rate, subscribe, tell me what you think of the video, and I will see you all good Monday.